Things are going to be in marks. And uh, this is specifically is the marking scheme of the most recent paper, the November 2020, paper 22. It is written, these general market principles must be applied by all examiners when market uh, can get answers. It means that internationally, wherever you give the paper, the market criteria will be the same. So for a particular variant, they will follow the same set of rules. Whether you give the paper, the exams in Pakistan or somewhere else, it will be the same, the marking criteria. Okay, another thing, generic marking is still one. Marks must be awarded in line with kya, what are the requirements, the specific content of the marking scheme or the generic level of the scriptures for the persons. That means, if you write whatever is given the mark scheme, you will get a mark. You will get passed on that, from those points. But if you write something else, but it is very logical, and it is not wrong according to the economic theory, you will still get a mark. Okay? So you will be getting a mark even if you are writing out of the mark scheme, but should make sense and there should be, you know, the examiners and the checkers will discuss whether this point or, the, you know, this point written by the student should get a mark or not on the basis of that they will uh, give you the marks. So, the thing is that an economics student cannot be confined, cannot be confined within the restriction of the path scheme. If we keep on thinking that whether this point was would be given in the path scheme or not, you cannot write a good answer. You cannot write a creative answer. So, think about that. Think and take help from your own learning, whatever you have learned in economics. And then write down. Sometimes, we all are stuck. We are short of sentences and statements to describe a theory, to describe a reason. What's the way out? Examples. You can explain your answer and get a score with the help of a good example. Okay? So examples are important. Never be afraid of giving examples from your local economy. Very important thing. Many students ask me, how do they know that what is happening in Karachi? They know everything. Now everything, fact and figure and the examples and the daily happenings and the changes are there on the Google. They can do it, but they will see that the student has given, for, for example, an example which is not existing in the real world, but you have given a logic, so you are successfully explaining your answer by giving an example, although that example is a fake one, still you will get marks from it. But generally, in economics, if you have, like the way we have our lectures, we already discussed about the Pakistan's economy and the things which are going on. So you can always quote those examples exactly and accurately as well. So I would suggest give examples and for that we have to read a lot. Go ahead. Excellent. There are two things. Ray was asking about whether 